Hello, how are you doing? My name is Ed Bateman. This is a video to explain exactly what we do at the World Music Method and how if you apply these principles, you'll become a greater musician, regardless of what instrument you play and what genres you're already comfortable with. So who is this video for? This is for bass players. Bass players that want to become better bass players. What we do is not just teach world music. Primarily, our mission is to help you master your instrument. We use world music. We use world music as the tool that's going to get you there. So why do we do that? Why world music? Okay. So, regardless of what you know about African music, probably you'd agree with me by saying it's very rhythmically advanced, heavily syncopated. Latin American music is so passionate, the feel is incredible. In Middle East and Indian genres, they don't have scales and chords as you might know them. They use macams and ragas, quarter tones, microtones. So if you expand your repertoire to include beautiful music from around the world, these incredible techniques, timeless traditional genres, you're going to get an advantage over other musicians who only study music from a narrow Western perspective. So how is that going to help you? Well, firstly, you're going to sound better on your instrument, more interesting, more unique, you're going to understand ensemble connection in a completely new way. The way you work with drummers and other members of the bands in such a different kind of detail, which is going to make playing more enjoyable. It's going to make people want to play with you more. That might encourage you to find more gigs, earn more money. I mean, the music industry is amazing. This is the best job in the world. You can jump up and down and dance on stage with your friends, with your bandmates, playing music you love whilst getting paid in front of fans, singing along and having an amazing time. <laughs> it's incredible. And if you look at music as more of a hobby, something you like to do in your spare time, well, you know for well, when you started playing an instrument, you surely had a passion and a desire to reach a certain level or improve. The thing is, a lot of people, they do make great progress at certain points in their learning career, on their learning journey, often in the beginning. And they take on all this kind of knowledge and at some point they just kind of plateau and get stuck. So why is that? Well, if you're playing the same things, the same genres of music, studying with the same teacher, there's nothing new that's going to stimulate your brain and get, get new things into your instrument, into the way you play. You've really got to go beyond Western musical limitations to reach a true potential as a musician. What we do at the World Music Method is we teach you how to play your instrument with your subconscious. Okay? If you can play your instrument with your subconscious, your conscious mind no longer needs to think about how to play, it can be thinking about what to play. It's now got the freedom, the freedom to create. So if you want to upgrade your technique and improve your ears, then you can actually learn faster in less time. So imagine what you do with all that extra time. If you had these expert music skills and you could learn anything much quicker. So who am I? Uh, why am I qualified to talk to you about world music? Because <laughs> you probably guessed from my accent. I am English. <laughs> so, my name's Ed Bateman. I've been very fortunate to have the career that I have had. Very non-traditional music career. I started
started playing bass when I was 12 because I loved heavy metal. I had a friend who played guitar and a friend who played drums. And I saw all those, all those cool kids who were like 14, 15, the long hair and the spiky, sorry, baggy jeans. And I thought, wow, they're cool. And they all had bands. So I thought, I want to be a band. And my friend plays guitar, my friend plays drums. If I play bass, we got a band. So, so fast forward two years, I was 14 years old. I grew up in rural Devon, a town called Tavistock in the southwest of England, right on the edge of Dartmoor, nothing going on, especially nothing musically going on. And then one day a band from Harare, Zimbabwe, arrived at my neighbour's house and they had a tour booked and the whole band came but not the, not the bass player. So. My mum knocked on the door and said, hey, you've got to go next door right now, take your bass amp, there's a band there. I had no idea, you know, I barely still knew anything about music. And uh, this group from Zimbabwe just taught me how to play. Guitarists showed me some riffs, some Zimbabwean songura and shimarenga. Eleven days later, we did a two-hour show. Within a month, we're up in London, playing at African nightclubs, like the Africa Centre. We did Glastonbury Festival, all this kind of stuff. I was with them for six years. Then I started going to Africa. West Africa, I arrived in Senegal. I was about 22, 23 years old, possibly. Playing with all these great family bands, 15-piece band. And not only was I the only foreigner, I was the only person not in the immediate family. It was amazing guys playing chorus, singers, percussion, drums, and me on bass, and I was back and forth out there for a few years. We would do these five hour shows most nights. You'd only get a break if there was a power cut, and um, yeah, that was an incredible experience. So it means that now, if I ever go to like a, you know, I'm playing a pop, rock, soul, funk, blues, jazz gig, whatever it is. I'm able to connect with the drummer, especially in, an, in and the whole band, in an amazing way because I approach rhythm from a different, completely different perspective. I've had these years of training in Africa, other parts of the world as well. Our teachers, they're all masters of anatomy. Playing an instrument uses muscles. If if you're not using that muscle perfectly. I identify exactly which muscle groups are needed for a certain action. Learn to isolate them and stop sending signals from your brain to any muscles that you don't need. Now that probably sounds weird and complicated, but don't worry because our technical experts will assess your technique regularly and identify exactly what can be done better. Set you up with the correct learning plan and strategy for success. Now we run these live technique revision workshops in groups so that you get to benefit not just from seeing your own improvements, but witnessing how your fellow students excel also. We've got guest tutors like the legendary South African bass player Bakithi Kumalo coming in to join us. Bakithi is known for playing one of the most famous bass solos of all time on Paul Simon's Graceland album. He's amazing, works with Herbie Hancock, Shaka Khan, loads of greats and when you see how good he is in these masterclasses you have no choice but to go and practice. He's so inspiring. It's great, it's a community of like-minded musicians sharing the same passion and as I said earlier, if you've got better technique and you upgrade your musical skills, you can learn quicker and you'll be able to enjoy music more with the absolute freedom to create any sound that you desire. Think about if you drive a car, think about how you actually are able to use both hands, both feet, navigate through traffic, and arrive home safely and
and sometimes you can't even remember the last 15 minutes or so of the journey. Yeah, you were zoned out. That's because through learning and repetition, you've actually taught your subconscious brain how to operate a car. Isn't that amazing? Now, imagine what it would feel like if you could play your instrument with your subconscious. You'd gain absolute, complete musical freedom. You'd be able to save your conscious brain for thinking and choosing what to create. Now, we also have some other amazing ways of speeding up the learning process using all kinds of state-of-the-art interactive software. You know, with our lessons, you can choose to use notation or guitar tab to... You can even view all of the notes on a virtual fretboard popping up. You could loop a bar. You could loop just a short phrase that you're struggling with. Slow the tempo, you slow the tempo down to 70% until you got it learnt. If you're wondering about whether our method is something that would work for you, then I'd like to introduce you to some of our students. Hi, I've been playing uh in bass in the world music method for about six months now and I've learned uh, quite a bit about different African musical styles that I hadn't been exposed to previously um, about playing ways of playing my instrument that I hadn't been exposed to previously and about people and ethnic groups in parts of Africa that I had no idea existed it's been a really wonderful experience and I've uh, grown a ton Hi, my name is Roberta. I'm from Colombia. I'm a percussionist, but I love the bass. And I'm a really a beginner in this world from the bass. And from the top, I have a lot of doubts how to put my fingers in the fret. And I found uh, the world music method. And I find uh, a lot of answers about my doubts. I love the the way that it explained every exercise because the different views of the camera uh, is, is, is a really clear because you can see how to put every finger and I love the dexterity exercise because I I found I, I don't know I uh, improve my movements and I have a little more force in my fingers so I love this platform because you find uh, really different levels from your for you, you know, uh, if you are a beginner, you uh, can to find a really easy exercise and you can advance uh, in your process too. So I uh, like a lot this uh, platform. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Will Morris and I'm a student over at uh, World Music Method. And uh, I've been there for about a year and it's been absolutely fantastic. I really appreciate the catalog of knowledge that Ed Bateman brings to the table regarding African music. He understands the feel of the spirit of the music, uh, but also cultural distinctions between various tribes throughout Africa. It's fascinating. And there's nothing I can do but recommend this highly. If you have any interest in African music, I'm playing bass and it is really a uh, turnaround this last year has made my bass playing uh something that is very much appreciated by uh the other players in the audience and so super grateful to ed and uh and uh you can <laughs> you can do very well by pursuing this course of study so if you'd like to be a better musician you'd like to enjoy performing more you want to be better at improvising with absolute freedom, playing in bands and being able to play any kind of guitar riff in any style. Well, then you've got three options. So there is guesswork, hard work or 
proven framework and strategy for success. If you want the proven strategy for success, then we'd like to hear from you. Book a free assessment, click on that link and have a chat with one of our experts and we'll see, see if it's the right thing for you. Thank you very much.